Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. Oh yeah, let's get into your reading. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. And uh, personal reading links are below. The link is below. Uh, I've opened up some more slots, so do check that out. All right, let's get into this. So that when I was shuffling, the Five of Cups fell out. Um, and I meditated on this card for a minute or two. And what was coming up to me is I feel like you have someone in their feels right now. Um, someone's feeling very lost. They are feeling um, a sense of regret or remorse. A bit of some sadness here. Let's take a look. They're having trouble seeing the path forward with you. Let's see. Trying to be strong. Someone here is definitely trying to be strong or maintain a sense of strength, maintain a sense of happiness, um, trying to self love. Okay. And apologize. Someone's coming in with an apology. You have somebody in their feels. Seriously. You do. Someone here is getting up the courage or trying to gain the courage to come in, um, reach out to you, to message you with either an apology or something along the lines of like, try to have like a new love start with you. They're feeling very sad. You got, I don't know who this could be a Leo, like I said, doesn't have to be. Let me see. Okay, yeah, there's some kind of ghosting energy. This person doesn't know what to think. They can't figure something out here. Um, they, I feel like they, you ghosted them or you just disappeared. And this person is like <laughs> all up in their head about you and about a relationship i feel like they're coming in maybe to apologize for not being um, or having too many options or keeping you on a string um oh that's interesting i'm looking at this and i'm this is the first time i'm seeing this you see this cup here look it looks like a skull uh that makes me feel like the death card scorpio energy someone who is trying to with the wreath be um like in a victory kind of stick trying to win. I feel like there's a trying to win you back kind of thing. You got somebody in their feels for sure. Yep. Here's the queen of cups. Definitely in their feels thinking about you. Crazily thinking about you like in a very crazy way. This person had some commitment issues or they have them. Um, there's this apology for ghosting you or for just kind of like playing tag. I'm hearing playing tag or playing this. Now you see me. Now you don't playing some games for sure. Yeah. This person's coming in to apologize. Yes. Reach out to you. They're really, really sad. You got this person is thinking about you. There's justice. Yeah, coming in with a, an op like presenting an opportunity to do the right thing. Oh yeah, they're coming in with a gift or some kind of like solid offer. Yeah, wow, the moon. We have Libra, we have Piscean energy. Look, this person is totally like, they wanna square up, I just heard. They want to square something up with you. Something about them leaving or not not really being available, kind of being a little bit shady here. They know it. Yeah, they know it for sure. They're not stupid. They're aware. Let me see what their feelings are going on here because they are like super sad. They're feeling super, super sad. Oh my gosh, this person's totally had, like they're in love with you. <clears throat> they are in love with you, head over heels for sure. Coming in with that offer. I mean, listen. How does this person feel about Virgo? Oh, 
They feel like you left them, you ran away, you escaped their grip. <laughs> I see this person sees you as someone who's like pretty damn magical. Pretty amazing. Even with that magician, they see you as someone who's like super focused. You know how to turn your visions into reality. You know how to make things happen. And you have no problem walking away if something's not working out for you, right? Yep, you will cut off if you're not getting a need met. If you feel like you're abandoned or if the situation is just too much of a struggle, in the sense of like, not abandoning someone when times are tough, but if the person is making times tough on purpose, then yes, you will leave that alone. I don't see you Virgos ever abandoning anyone that you love during difficult times. You're just not built that way um, because you're the sign of service. You always want to help. But if someone is purposely making things difficult or they're not really trying to help themselves and then they're taking advantage and being super dependent on you when you're that, that kind of just, you know, it's like when you're in the water and you don't have a life vest and the other person's there with you, they're trying not to drown. So they're going to hold on to you to keep their head above water. That's what I kind of feel like you might have are feeling like about this. And you're just like, no. If somebody was deceptive, but let's see. This person doesn't know if you will take them back, but they are all up in their feels about you for sure. Now we have the King of Swords, air sign. They're really going to try to put in some effort, try to even things out. Yeah, absolutely. I just want to see what is this person they're hitting rock bottom there's definitely a rock bottom energy here i wish i could share my good news with you they do have some good news and they want to tell you about it they wonder if you're happy without them yeah there's definitely see i couldn't let you get close to me this person is really up in the in i don't know if this person was a player or what the deal was I think maybe, or they were playing some kind of games. This person loves you. You speak to me through music. There might be a music connection. They want to be more than friends. I don't know. Do you want that, Virgo? That's kind of settling if there was more to the relationship. Um, like if they just, if there was just a friendship. But now it's like they don't want to just be friends. This person, they are blaming themselves wholeheartedly blaming themselves for the way they treated you or treated the relationship they weren't even themselves this person needed a snickers that's all i can say i lost myself for a little while <laughs> what a mess they're really a mess you don't know how hard it was to let you go everything reminds them of you and they hope you can forgive them yeah they're going to come in with an apology and tell you that they're sorry but you got this person totally up in their feels i feel like i keep repeating this but you do they're having a hard time right now they want to make things right with you virgo they want to make it right they want to reconcile everything okay there you go six of cups yep Get back to the way things used to be. They're thinking about you nonstop. They're thinking about when you guys were first together, when the times were good, before they messed everything up. Yep, they want to manifest this whole new beginning here. Very focused on you right now. You might find it hard to believe, but something is happening to this person. They may have gotten abandoned by somebody else, or just feel like something else didn't work out. Um, but the whole energy from this person is you are 100% on their mind. Look at that page of cups again. This person knows that they can't come in to talk to you or start anything with you until there's um, an apology and there's some type of communication where you both 
can work on things. They know that. And so if they're not reaching out or talking to you, that's because they know that they can't just reach out and talk to you unless some type of issue is worked through. That's what I feel like is happening here with this person. Absolutely. And their apology is going to be sincere if you will listen to them. They want to apologize to you. They want to talk about this stuff. Look, there's two of cups. Come together. Try to make this magic happen between you again from whatever happened in the, like, however good it was in the beginning. This person wants to marry you or be in a long-term committed relationship with you. Definitely to reunite. Definitely. This, this person I'm hearing wants to come home or is hoping you will let them come home at some point. I just saw the eight of wands here. Yes, travel. You got this person is wild about you. You got this player up in their fields. King of Swords showing up again. Air signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Queen of Cups, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Water sign. End of the struggle. Ten of Wands here. This person's totally exhausted. Mentally, especially. Mentally exhausted. And it's affecting them physically. I don't feel like they can work. They're not at their best right now. I don't feel like they can work. They're being um, maybe an annoyance to other people. Or they're keeping to themselves. They're like giving very little to everyone. Their energy is depleted. So anyone that they're talking with, even if they have kids or if they have uh, everyone around them is suffering because they are. Yep, there's Ace of Pentacles, right? They're saving their big pentacle for you. <laughs> Everybody else gets pennies. You get like, you get the gold coin. You're, so, yeah, there's a lot of regret. This person has a lot of regret. Look at this. They know something's over here. They know it's done. And there's no other way to recuperate this relationship unless they come in and actually humble themselves for, for what, for, for their whatever they said or did or didn't say or didn't do absolutely yep ten of pentacles seven of wands they got to fight for the safety of this relationship maybe they didn't do that before this is like protecting the home <laughs> you know what i mean this is like fighting for the home are fighting for what's most important and what is most important your family your legacy together your the stability of the relationship yeah you got this person like they're they're a mess this person was not in a very I want to say dominant or alpha energy. They were in a very passive energy and they let they let it go too much. There's a five of cups, yeah, and the sun. So this I, I can tell you right now, they're they're yes, I see them coming in with an apology for all of that. Okay. Yes, I do see them coming in for apology with all of that. Only if you will accept it. But they know deep down there's no other way to do it you won't be gaslit there's like there's no other way to come in but with unless there's humility okay messages of love this is a destined partnership at least they feel that way they feel you two are dust like you have a destiny together twin flame i feel like this person is understanding what this twin flame thing is here you are safe and divinely guided fated relationship twin flame it's protected 
but it still doesn't mean you got to be like a doormat with your twin flame this person has definitely learned this lesson and understands the lesson the spiritual lesson that they learned is that they need to protect the relationship the integrity of the relationship and come in with humility and vulnerability i don't know if they did that before i don't feel like they were doing that like i said i, f I feel like they weren't protecting this relationship period they were just treating it like maybe it was for you to have left or ended or just pulled your energy back is because maybe you didn't feel like they were fighting for the connection in the way you needed them to if you walked away from it or if they walked away you might have just said okay bye bye or let him go i do feel like they want you back they want to be back with this connection they're all up in their feels this person like i said i don't feel like they're functioning very well maybe at like 70 percent capacity they're they're really like feels like looking at themselves cosmic insight messages health issues this person is being affected by their 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 health is being affected right now and that does happen oh my god does that happen especially in a breakup it's mental health physical health it's all connected when there's some kind of fallout or someone's like very sad with that five of cups or feeling the loss you know it's like I, I once heard that like when a baby's born if a baby is just left and never physically touched it's the neglect neglect is just as bad as exerted type of abuse neglect is abuse as well and i feel like that's the when i was saying they were very passive not protected i feel like this person was neglecting the relationship and that has consequences on both okay this person's spying they got your they got their eye on you that's for sure no it's not the right time they're looking to see, i'm hearing they're looking to see when is a good time for them to come in they're watching they're very observant when is a good time to reach out to you i don't know why uh looking oh i see they're looking to see if you're dating someone else or if you are just moving on yeah and that makes them even more up in their feelings okay earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might have a date coming up with an Earth sign. Someone is still figuring themselves out sexually. Okay, you got a liar. Yeah, somebody might have been lying about their sexuality as well. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to do a deep dive into that. <laughs> they might have been connecting with someone who's like a gold digger, a liar, um, has sexual issues. Yeah, real challenges. I feel like I'm, I'm just getting this message that this person, they were chasing some kind of rainbow or something. I'm just going to leave it at that. They were chasing some kind of rainbow and it's it. there was nothing at the end of that rainbow. There was no pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. And what they thought, because we had the seven of cups there, what they thought they were chasing um yeah it's just that was going to be like oh i'm going to chase after this glorious magical rainbow and there's going to be uh, like to get that pot of gold but there was nothing there and the rainbow is just an illusion and they may have lost they lost the relationship with you or they lost everything and now they're all up in their feels about this because they are kicking themselves lack of integrity in regards to the relationship okay you know i could keep going on you guys you know i could keep going on we have a sagittarius a leo and an aries okay someone's 47 august 27 1972 1985 august 31st 1965 somebody's birthday's in november i just heard bitcoin i just heard boing <laughs> my goodness what the heck uh i'm hearing bunt cake 
Okay. I'm hearing bounce, someone bouncing a ball, or is bouncing, or someone, a bounty? <laughs> Someone's got a bounty on their head? Whoa, somebody might owe some money. They got a bounty. Okay, we got, we got our key here, our chi, our key. Um, I'm hearing the name Nancy. I'm hearing Bo. Okay, someone's in New New England, New Zealand, uh, somewhere New York, somewhere where there's a new in front of the country or the the state or the the county or somewhere like that. Okay. Oh, I'm just hearing Quan, 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 like um. Quan, Q U A N. I don't know what that means. And I'm also getting Quinn. Sammy's name is Quinn or Quint. Quinn. Okay, somebody's got a bun in the oven. Hmm. Could be like you're just cooking. <laughs> you could be cooking. Hmm. All right, so we have the initials <clears throat> BN. We have T O. We have I and U, and then the initial Q. Okay, let's get some charms. Okay, we got a butterfly. Oh, a star, a, a North Star. Oh, and a crown. Oh, okay. You could be eating like some butter. Somebody could be eating butter right now, putting butter on, on something. Um, also, I'm picking up uh, England or the, the UK, picking up the UK. I'm also picking up the Middle East. Somebody might be from the Middle East. This North Star, North Star, could be something with a car. Isn't that a thing, North Star? Or something to do with a car, a vehicle. Uh, GPS. This butterfly is metal. I'm just going to tell you, it's got rivets in it. That's what I'm, I know it's actually, well, it is metal, but I'm just seeing like an outdoor butterfly with metal rivets in it. It could be like um, a garden decor, or you have that somewhere, or you see that somewhere, like a butterfly. It could be a wind chime metal with some kind of garden decor. Of some sort okay oh real quick just do the Chinese signs really really quick what Chinese signs are showing up here for Virgo and their person okay year of the tiger year of the rabbit year of the horse year of the dog year of the snake year of the goat Year of the rooster and year of the ox. So it could be you, your person, neither, whichever. Um, yeah, go back and listen to the my playlist if you haven't heard the other readings um, that I did the past. I think I did five extra readings. You can also click in the link, all the links below, if you want to get like your timeless readings are down there as well. They're for purchase and uh, personal reading link is also below. All right. Thanks for putting a like and subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks to all the mods and everyone who's joined the channel. And I will see you guys back here later on. All right. Take care. My heart rages around like an ocean.